everyone it's Mika happy new year happy new year okay we are officially in 2016 and I am so excited okay this is my first video for the new year and I thought why the heck not would you not make your first video your 2016 goals video because I'm just so excited because this is the first time that I'm actually sharing my goals with you guys in the past what I would do is just not share anything with anybody and just keep them to myself so that way if I failed at them you know there wouldn't be like that huge sense of defeat that is not what's going to happen okay we're going to all accomplish at least one of the goals we set out for 2016 I definitely want to share with you guys what my plans are for 2016 in terms of YouTube, in terms of my hair goals, in terms of just general life goals. I want to share with you guys that today. Okay, so let's start off with my YouTube goals since we are here on YouTube. And my ultimate YouTube goal for 2016 is to get 10,000 subscribers. But I'm gonna tell you guys my plan. Um, one thing that I know that I need to do more of in order to achieve that number of subscribers is to consistently put out videos for you guys. So I'm committing to putting out at least one video every week. I'm aiming for two, but I want to be realistic and just tell you guys that I'm committing to putting at least one video up every week. I also want to put out more blogs frequently so I definitely want to commit to one to two blogs per week um, now those blogs may tie in or they may not tie in with the video that I put out that week but I'm definitely committing to those numbers every week I also want to collab more I definitely enjoyed collabing with C Tony last year actually earlier in December um, I definitely enjoy collabing with her in terms of doing that thrift challenge collab. I would like to do more things like that. And my hair goals are pretty simple. I just want to just let my hair do what it does. Um, I want to keep it up in mostly protective styles. And I'm actually aiming to just continue to protective style all the way into August. I will be giving my hair intermittent breaks between um, each protective style so like if I'm doing box braids and I know I want to do kinky twists after I'll give my hair like a week or maybe two break and then put go right back into protective styling like that so anything from box braids kinky twists wigs crochet braids you know things like that clip-ins anything like that I'm definitely gonna be into from January to August with all the things that I want to plan to do the last thing I want to be stressing about is doing my hair on a daily or every couple of days basis. What I'm going to be doing is venturing into two ideas that I've been going back and forth with for practically all of 2015. I've been sketching designs and doing all kinds of things like that, planning out stuff, researching, looking at people, encouraging me to pursue your dreams and then never actually taking a step in that direction other than sketching it out see whether I feel at it or not the point is to take steps in that direction actual steps and you know actual action um, I'm just creating a way for me to get to where I want to be and um, these things that I'm not really particularly spelling out for you guys I see them as my way to get to do what I want to do overall and what live the life that I want to live and provide for my son and myself what I also want to do is work on my weight um, one of my goals is to just get back on track with what I kind of started um, in the months of I would say May to July smoothies and things like that I would replace a meal with doing a smoothie instead of a full meal um, I wasn't you know doing completely organic or vegan or raw anything I was just eating the foods that I usually eat just in decent portions and not pigging out and overdoing it and that was working really well for me in April of 2015 I weighed myself at a doctor's office I was 213 pounds and when I went for my checkup I want to say at the end of August early September um 
the doctor I weighed myself there and she said I weighed 197 okay by then I had already started to slack off so it's possible that I weighed even less than 197 when I was consistently doing everything that I was supposed to be doing so I definitely want to get right back on track with that um, another goal that I have this year is to travel I definitely enjoy traveling I don't always have the resources the financial resources to do it as big as I want to I just wanted to start small and simple and do simple things like traveling to Florida I know it's not exciting but it is exciting for me living on this little island what are your 2016 goals if there's one thing that you have to get done this year let me know down in the comments below thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye